what's up everybody? Freddy C here and welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for what looks like my last final gameplay for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Yes, as I record this two days before Halloween, I am going to let you know that this is the last time I'm going to be making a gameplay video for Modern Warfare Zombies. So... Yeah, I was originally going to work on the final half of the final 900 multiplayer games, but today was a little crazy for me this morning. I won't go into any details about what happened. All I can say is that I'm pretty exhausted, and I just want to relax just by making one Zombies video for you guys. And like I said, this is going to be my last Zombies video. So as I play as Ghost, I'm going to use the last two legendary Aether tools as well as the flawless Aetherium Crystal, which will uh, make my weapon go to level 3 for Pack-A-Punch. And I'm going to go in with two suppressed weapons. One is an M4, the other is the Boss P, also known as the MPX. So without further delay, let's get into our last day of zombie hunting. Also, I just want to let you know that the second I start and I upgrade everything to where they need to be, I'm going to do a couple of missions in the medium threat level zone and high threat level zone. So I'm going to be in and out of two zones. So yeah, I'm going to take everything to the ultimate challenge here. I'm going to do like maybe two or three contracts in the medium threat zone. And I'll do as many contracts as I can in the high threat zone, just like last time. So yeah, like I said, this is going to be it for me, guys, because Halloween is only two days away from today. And I really want to try to conclude spooky season with just this video. Now, if my last video for the first half of the final 900 multiplayer videos is, uh, you know, hasn't been uploaded by now. Don't worry, it will be. Actually, it will be uploaded by the time this video gets uploaded. So I'm probably going to upload this video that I'm recording for you right now, either on the day of Halloween or the day after Halloween. But either way, this would be a perfect conclusion for spooky season. All right, here we go, guys. You guys ready for one last experience with zombies? Well, I know I am. So, of course, we're going to spawn in the low threat zone, but I'll eventually get to a vehicle, and I will get to the medium threat zone and do a couple contracts and then go to the high threat zone. So, yeah. Here we go. Legendary Flawless. With Shatter Blast. As well as this can, this one, and Speed Cola. Okay, now for the secondary weapon. There's loot here. Alright, now we're all set. Now we can go to the medium threat zone and see what we can do. As I set a waypoint. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna avoid that fortress. Huh. Contract marked. Ah, we got a vehicle. Must be my lucky day. Man, once I've finally concluded this gameplay of zombies. I'm really going to miss making videos on this one. But don't worry. If you think that my experience on zombies throughout all of Call of Duty will be over with after this, you are straight up wrong, brother. I'm going to be taking this to Black Ops 6 the second I get to that game. But it'll be a while before I buy that game. Got a contract here. Let's do the Outlast. 
Now with the legendary Aetherium tool, my weapons are going to be like super duper strong. And they can withstand any enemy, including disciples, which are kind of tough to beat, but I can beat them. For example, those zombies ain't nothing. got an Outlast contract. This one's worth 3,000 Essence, as well as uh, two containment levels. The squad's comms are still unresponsive. We have to assume the worst. There is nothing to be done for the Fallen. Activate the PMD. Here we Finish go. Their work. Ever see someone shatter glass with their voice? Let it rip, PMD. No time for a lecture, Dr. Barrera. Here come the corpses. Here come the zombies. Here come the zombies. Ready for me to kick their asses all the way to hell. Hey, a disciple. So glad you could join us. And fall. Oh, and that happens to be one of the daily challenges. <laughs> Swat at me all you want. My weapons are as powerful as they could possibly be. All thanks to the Ethereum crystal I use. There goes the mangler. Looks like I got some help. Or not. Uh oh, another disciple. I'll take care of that. A couple of pesky zombies in the process. Get a nuke. Yeah, that's one contract down. Well done. I am sure Barrera will inform me what he learns from this, uh, whether I want him to or not. Hmm. Let's do a delivery. Contract here. Okay, we got that Outlast mission taken care of. Let's uh, fuel up and repair a little bit here. And we are good to go. We're off to fight more of the undead. Woohoo! What was shooting at me? Oh, those guys. At least my weapons are suppressed, so they won't attract as much attention as they do when they're unsuppressed. There's a load of Terminus cargo near you that Dr. Jansen says she can use. So take it off their hands. Yeah, I won't be able to complete this mission, uh, which there was only one objective left to do, and that was to destroy a helicopter chasing the cargo I was supposed to deliver. But I can at least kill some zombies for you guys. Which I love to do. I'll also clear an Ethereum nest while I'm at it. Weapons are powerful.
That'll teach you bitches a lesson. Hey, what the? F Get out of here, little bitch. These definitely don't need that. All right. All right, hold on, I got a garage door. Oh! Ah! Ah! Okay. Let's take the sucker to where it needs to go. Inbound. Yeah, I'm aware of that. This is gonna get bumpy. Baby to the HLZ, which is the helicopter landing Don't zone. Get me that package. Almost there, almost there. Bam! Ooh, another crystal. Nah, I already have that. Ooh, and an epic aether tool. I can use that in, like, future gameplays, but... No, I'm sorry. Future games, but I'm not going to be able to record them, because, like I said, this is the last time I'm playing this game. Well, last time I'm recording a video for it, actually. Dilly dallying. I need something. Uh, how about. How about raiding a weapon stash? That could, that could work. Yeah, let's do that. There's one of those Harvester orbs. I'll refuel and repair you. Big wide open area. Who'd have guessed? That's right, you undead bitches. Come at me. That's right. Come at me, bitches. Come at me. Oh, 
I'll show you how a real zombie hunter does it. Bruh. Goodbye. Ah! Well, you came out of nowhere and scared the crap out of me. Right, I forgot. The higher the threat level area, the faster the zombies are going to be. Whoa, what the? a mangler. Alright, well that's my third contract in the medium threat zone. You really look like you can use some repairs there, buddy. Use this. Right, I can just uh, stock up on weapons and ammo. Well, ammo mostly. Okay, I'm loaded. Oh. Imagine that, I just re reloaded my ammo, now all of a sudden I had to kill more zombies. I think I've dallied about long enough here. Let's go to the high. Yeah, let's go to the high threat zone. Do some spore control. All right, I'm about to take my zombie hunting to the ultimate level. Threat zone three. These guys are gonna be really strong. But thank God I upgraded my weapons all to Legendary and to Pack-a-Punch level 3, baby! We're talking, baby. Now we're really talking. Herrera received a stress call from one of his teams. Make for broadcast location and render aid. Here we go. My team was investigating some local anomalies when they went dark. But well, technically speaking, these anomalies are... Yeah, no time for that, Pereira. Just call them spores. Bad dog. Whew. 
guys don't quit. Blast those spores with infrasound to reverse their evolution. Reverse their evolution? Man, I love my job. But it is right to say. Destroy spore, get device in range first. Eyes up, strike team. That not be so much, you are headed right for you. Ooh yeah, you want to kill them a high threat zone, baby. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, clearly they're a little too quick for me. Revive. I mean, not revive. Redo my armor. Wonder if the zombies weren't super duper fast and strong. Then again, they're always this challenging. Maybe I should just hit one four at a time. Kaboom, indeed. Doing two at a time is just too much. There we go. Whew. Okay, that was good. Wait, there's some ammo over here. Hold on, before... Right underneath me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right there. Come on! Damn it! Alright, well, I got one more left. Okay, 
I really... I got an idea. I'm just gonna ram him with my vehicle. Yeah, you're not getting me this time, pal. I'll come up with creative ways to get rid of you. Okay, never mind. Got him. Dark ether and that is a whole other temple of bad things. You again? Man, you guys just don't know how to cut me a break. The Scorcher case. All right, I'll take that. Alright, I should probably head back to the medium threat zone. Find a buy station. Get a couple more things of armor. Or I could do a couple more nests over here. So, yeah. Like I said, I was gonna do a couple zigzags in and out of threat levels, uh, threat zone levels 2 and 3. A self revive kit. All armored up. Okay, I really should complete a couple more contracts in the medium threat zone before going back to the uh, high one. So, contract here. Let's deliver more cargo. I mean, hey, at least I went to the high threat zone, right?
Man, they move pretty fast for a bunch of undead freaks. Oh boy. Anglers are really starting to be a pain in my ass. And the mimics. I really got to get this contract completed. That marked transport is loaded with terminus weapons. Take it. Get it to Exfil. They always do that. That'll teach him a lesson. Oh boy. All right, where am I going to go next?
objective. All right, let's go to that Aether Nest in the high threat zone. Clear it out and get the hell out of there. Oh, I hope this works. over here. Might as well use this to distract them. More coming. Okay, never mind. Get out of here. We're, we're not going to clear this nest. Ah, forget it. Even that pack of punch level three, it's still going to be tough. tough in my uh, experience. Alright, looks like we got another Aether Storm brewing, so we're going to have to go back to the low threat zone to extract. Where is it? Where is it? Screw it. Have you one around here somewhere? There. Marking H L C. Gonna have to cut through the high threat zone to get to it. Go. Well, I did the best I could. At least we got some contracts done. At least one of them in the high threat zone. 
So now as we leave the high threat zone and enter the medium threat zone, we're on our way to the low threat zone for extraction. Since we have less than seven and a half minutes until that aether storm increases. And if you get caught in it, you're pretty much screwed. No! Dummy. Oh, it looks like somebody called the extraction helicopter already. Hopefully I can get there before the chopper comes. Wait, I see it. Screw it. I'll go by foot. Well, safe to say it was fun while it lasted. just about conclude everything. Another successful exfil. And the Aether tools. Two legendary crystals. Safe to say, I think we're good to go. Activities down. Wow. 492 zombies killed and only six mercenaries dead. Not bad. Not bad. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you have it. This is my final gameplay for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I won't be doing any more zombies gameplay from here on out. I'll just play randomly and level up as much as I can and then when I do get a chance I'll eventually get to the final half of the final 900 multiplayer games um, either sometime well okay if not today which I don't think is gonna be possible then maybe sometime tomorrow or just a little bit before Halloween I'll see half of the final 900 multiplayer games. But above all else, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop some likes. Be sure to comment your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon and turn on those notifications to be notified about my future uploads. And just a quick little heads up. Like I said, I am going to wait a couple of days before I get... Black Ops 6 so while I wait it'll give me plenty of time to work on the final 900 multiplayer games second half which is also the final half and I'll finally get to 900 multiplayer games for you guys and I'll finally be able to conclude my multiplayer experience on this game before I start my experience on the next game so yeah, I, I don't always go for like, say, on the day a certain game releases. Well, no. Nowadays I just wait until I take care of important stuff, then I go after that game. But I will get to it eventually. You guys don't have to worry. You'll see some videos from Black Ops 6. I just need to play it a little bit, experience, you know, what to expect from the game, learn a few things. And when I'm ready to make my videos, starting with the campaign, then when the campaign is done, that's when I'll do my multiplayer experience. 
But again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next gameplay. And until then, this is Freddy C signing off. And before I sign off, just two days before Halloween, I just want to say just this. Happy Halloween. <laughs>Okay, I'm really going to go this time. But again, guys, thank you very much. And I'll see you in my next gameplay. See you later, guys. And happy Halloween.